Welcome to Evolution of Self with me, Britannia. Hello. Um, I'm really sorry that I have kind of dropped off the face of the planet for these last few weeks. Um, but we've had a couple of losses, family losses, and I've also had COVID. So <laughs> I wasn't really up to doing very much at all. Um, I'm fully recovered and thankfully it wasn't as awful as it has been, I know, for some people. Um, for that I'm incredibly grateful. But I hope you can forgive me for the time that I sort of stepped out of doing my regular weekly episodes. I will in future be up to date and make sure that you receive them weekly again. And hopefully my life will settle down and be a little bit more predictable from now on. Today what I want to speak to you about is fear. Um, there's many aspects to fear and I have already done an episode on fear and I am, I'll link that in the notes below. But today what I want to speak to is about overcoming fear. And I was thinking about this the other day and that's why I've decided to share it with you. Because I realised that I had a number of fears in my life and that I overcame them because I found something that meant more to me than being afraid. And what I realised is with fear, and when you've, um, you're have you frightened of something and you've built up an anxiety around something, the more you focus on it or not doing it or the fear of it or whatever it happens to be, the greater it grows. And I was able to overcome a number of my own personal fears um, when I had kids. Um, and I simply just couldn't indulge in them anymore. And it made me realise that the more we focus on fear, it's almost allowing it and giving it energy to grow and build. But when we decide that something's much more important than that fear and we take our attention and our energy away from that fear and we focus on something else, that it is possible to step beyond it and to master it. So a couple of my fears were, one was a fear of flying. I've flown most of my life. My parents separated when I was six and we moved to Cape Town and my father stayed in Botswana and we often used to fly between Cape Town and Botswana. And then as I grew older, we moved to the UK and did the trip from the UK back to Botswana to see my father in holidays, um, on holidays. And strangely for me, the more I flew, the more I kind of thought that the, the chance of something going wrong <laughs> would increase. And so the more I flew, the more anxious I became about it. But when I had kids, I realised that I, there was no space for that, that if I was anxious about flying, that they would pick up on it and they would become anxious and fearful as well. And at the time, my husband lived in Dubai and I lived in Botswana. <laughs> I've had a rather strange life. <laughs> and so right from when my kids were born, um, I used to fly to Dubai and then fly from Dubai back to Botswana. I didn't want them to grow up having that fear. I wanted them to enjoy the experience and to feel safe and secure. And for that, I had to overcome it. And thinking back on it, the only way I did it was just not to think about it. I knew that the more I thought about it, the more energy I would give it and the worse it would feel and the, the, the greater my fear would grow. The other fear that I've managed to conquer is my fear of snakes, <laughs> which I know necessarily most people won't ever have to face this fear, but I know it's a fear that most people do have. Um, when I lived in Botswana with my kids when they were very young, we lived outside of the capital, only 15 minutes outside of the capital, Gaborone. But um, we lived on a plot, a very large plot, sort of in the bush. And we did get many snakes. And whilst I sort of tried to get the Botswana Defence Force or people that were trained in handling snakes in to handle the more poisonous ones, I still had to occasionally do it myself. Um, purely because I had lots of animals and I had two young children and just allowing a snake to disappear wasn't something that I was willing to risk because they were outside playing all the time. Um, and I'm very much of the sort of mindset that I don't like killing animals. So for me, that wasn't ever an option. If we had a snake, it had to be captured. It had to be then transported and released elsewhere. So again, it was my kids. It was the fear that something would happen to them was far greater than my fear that something would happen to me. And I mean, I was always quite sensible. Like I had, I used to horse ride. Um, so I had some long riding, leather riding boots that I used to put on. I used to get my barbecue or bry tools <laughs> and a bucket. And I would go off and I would um, catch the snakes. But left to my own devices, I would never have gone near a poisonous snake or any snake for that matter. They're, they're not really my sort of animal of my favorite animal. But when you've got something that's greater than your fear, that's more important than that, 
then the ability to conquer those fears is suddenly possible. Um, and I just thought it was interesting when I was thinking about this the other day because I hadn't really given it much thought. And I thought I'd put it to you so that you can have a look at the fears that you have in your life, because I'm sure you do you have some somewhere. <laughs> and maybe you can start to look to see what it is that could be more important than your fear. What you could focus on that would cause you to take the energy and the focus away from the fear so that you could move past it and expand your life. As I said, I am going to endeavour to be here every week again. Um, I really am truly sorry for disappearing off the face of the planet for however many weeks that I've been away. And thank you for joining me again here. If you want any information, you want to contact me for coaching or want to find out about any of my online courses, as usual, there'll be links in the show notes below. So much love from me to you. Bye bye.